Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue coming to you today from Dallas, Texas. Now in 2022, I'm going to film as many Texas Monthly Top 50 barbecue joints as I possibly can for you guys. The first stop is here at the Slow Bone. But first, we got to start the fire. turkey. Underneath here we have brisket, we have greens, sweet potatoes, I saw those are a must. And man, I know it's a barbecue restaurant, but I heard you have to get the fried chicken here. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, y'all. I'm excited. Let's dig in. First, all these ribs. Check these ribs out. Nice pepper on there. Very solid rib. Perfect texture. I mean, look the way that bit through there. I absolutely love that. Great there. Now, um, Jeff Hobbs, the pit master, told me I had to try their spicy sauce. Give that a try. It's an excellent pork sauce. It's a nice vinegary base with a little kick. It's pretty good. That'd be also almost some pulled pork. I know you saw that when I show you the food. I love these old school trays like you get in the cafeteria in high school. It's pretty neat. I'll try some brisket. Now they give me a little bit of lean and fatty. As y'all know, I really like the lean, so we're gonna try that first. Look at this. Nice and juicy. It's not fat on there. That's great. And that's a nostalgic piece of brisket there. Not overly smoky. Reminds me of a restaurant I had growing up next to me. Old school barbecue, not really craft, I wouldn't call it, but delicious. Is it the best brisket I've ever had? No, but it's a damn good brisket. I don't like it. Now my favorite, as you all know, is turkey. Look at that. Good moisture. Now we just wrapped up the holidays. I've had plenty of turkey. This is the best I've had all year. This is so good. So good. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and dig into those sweet potatoes now. Cause that with the turkey is gonna be absolutely amazing. Sweet potatoes look good. In fact, I'm gonna try it by itself first. Yeah, that's amazing. I love my grandma, but it's not as good as this. So cinnamon and sugary, it's like a dessert. I like that. <laughs> well, you don't see that at a barbecue restaurant very often, which is kind of cool. Seth went unique here. Went digging into these greens so far as a dig of my fork, very tender. This will pair nice with that turkey as well. Excellent texture, a little vinegary kick. I got a little bit of turkey, a little bit of greens, a little bit of sweet potatoes. This will be a killer bite. Y'all are really seeing a fat guy come out of me today. The last time I was here was um, 2014. They had a different owner then. Um, to be quite honest with you, 
I wasn't too impressed. The brisket was very bitter with the smoke flavor. Not getting that here today with any of this meat. In fact, I would say probably under smoked for most barbecue joints, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. I'm gonna try the smoke fried chicken. Look at the size of this wing. Ridiculous. So that bite is a lot of breading. Let me try to get into the meat here. Here we go. So super moist. You think it's the best fried chicken in Dallas? I would I'd definitely put it up there. It's really, really good. Look at all the bite. This is pretty much comfort food. Got some cornbread here. Try that. <laughs> I hear the desserts are great here. Between the sweet potatoes and cornbread, I don't need any. This is, yeah, this is barbecue comfort food. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Be back in a moment. All right, so they went ahead and brought me over some more sauces to try. I'm gonna pull my rib back up. We're gonna try the sweet Jake. Give it a try. Sweet and tangy reminds me a lot of um, Terry Black sweet and tangy sauce. We would we'll say almost identical, to be honest with you. I haven't tried the regular sauce yet, let's give it a try. I know some of y'all like sauce, I'm not opposed to it. I think great barbecue is something great with sauce. Not gonna lie, I can't tell a huge difference between all three of the sauces. I know the um, the spicy did have a little more kick to it, a little bit more uh, vinegary. Oh man, they're all very similar. Good sauces though. Like I said a moment ago, I'm not opposed to sauce. I know everyone said great barbecue doesn't need it. Very true. Doesn't mean that great barbecue cannot be enhanced by great sauce. So it will be a butthead. If you see people using sauce, nothing wrong with that. Is their prerogative? Great on barbecue. I love sauce. All right, I'm full. That was an incredible meal. A highlight was uh, the, the, the poultry. That fried chicken was delicious, um, tender and juicy and huge. It was the biggest chicken wing I think I've ever seen. Um, turkey, top notch turkey. I mean, it had to taste it like smoked rosemary and herbs and it was phenomenal just like Thanksgiving should be uh, paired with those greens and the sweet potatoes I'll definitely be coming back for that I, I live about 30 miles from here uh, I've only been once and it's kind of a shame because this is good food um, brisket and ribs um, were, were fine wasn't my favorite that I've had but it was definitely something that I, I would get again if I was here but um Honestly, I think I, I wouldn't get that again because I think I want to save all the stomach room for the turkey and the chicken because that stuff was so dang good. I, I really enjoyed it. I, um, you know, I was kind of surprised they made the top 50 list because they've been around for um, a couple of lists now and not really gotten much love. Um, but it's good food. I mean, the sides were impeccable. It'd be hard pressed to find um, better sides in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Everything was absolutely amazing. Um, good atmosphere. I mean, I'm outside now on the patio. Um, overlooks a little nice little bridge. I'll show you guys a little bridge and a, and a walkway The weather's fantastic today, so this is absolutely perfect. I kind of wish I'd have eaten outside versus inside now So um, go ahead and make it out to the slow bone in Dallas. Let me know what you think uh, and give me uh, your opinions in the comments below and until the next video the fire is out <laughs>